So final thoughts. Um, Sunday night, I haven't planned anything for the week. Um, I know I've been filming a lot in my bedroom slash office um, lately, but um, trying to take notes a bit better. So um, see what happens. Okay. Peace. Mm. Again in my car. Actually, I might get out. To be honest. Set up the straight light or something. Suburbia. Mm. I don't know how well the lighting's gonna be. Northern Beaches Hospital is that away. And I used to drive down there, shopping trolley. Mm. Uh, mm. Car passing. Another one. I don't know where this one's going. I don't think I parked in it. Parking sucks. So, off to another AA meeting. Um, fuck man, I should write a list of like, YouTubers to check out. Um, it's Monday night. And Dame's around. Fucking so women. Oh, God. I don't know what to talk about, so. Yep. No, 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 no. Rejecting? Don't care. What's that person doing? So, she just tuned in and welcome to my boring life. So, you can fully expect. Bucket. So it's in there. Have the toilet to open. And they are. Nobody's here.
where I went. Boss? Hello, Mike. How are you? How are you going? Good. What's happening? There's the hook. What's happening, mate? You good? Yeah, it's tomorrow, man. Fucking tired, man. I can hear you When did you get here tonight? Pardon, mate? When did you get here tonight? Oh, yeah. I'm going to get Uh, 33. Uh. Oh, who's there? There you go. Oh, come on, how are you? Miles? Darcy. Oh, hi, Did the church say anything about like, food and stuff yet? Or? Did the church say anything about food and food? No, no, no. Some other places doing coffee and food. Yeah. Not maybe not food, coffee, but. Something, yeah. Mm. yeah. You can do coffee with the um, throw away cups. <laughs> yeah, I said to you, I'm like, I don't know why I'm here. I'm like, I, just, I should have just fucking went home. Yeah. The last, yeah, the Easter weekend. Yeah, you start to lose it in your 30s. Yeah. How's work going anyway?
Mm-hmm. Yeah, I was around the only today. I was pretty. Hi. I was around the only today. It's pretty busy. Yeah. Yeah. Bought it now. No, no, yeah. Fucking still high enough. Um, one second, guys. I hope that's okay. (sighs) Check Instagram. I need to change off often. Um, I was supposed to write notes and stuff to my vlogs and stuff today, but um, but like most days, I didn't get around to do it. So it's um, so I should have a look at my um, thingamabob. Um, no, this is. Oh, so this week I'm supposed to be focusing on recovery. Um, I didn't really do, it was more of a normal day for me. Um, um, I write some more notes, but anyway. This is a recovery book, uh, 24 hours a day. And since it's the 17th, uh, 19th today, this is not good. I lost two days. Since I've been putting sobriety into my life, I've been thinking of a lot of good things I can describe kind of quiet satisfaction. I feel good. I feel right with the world. The right side of the fence. As far as I put sobriety into my life, almost everything I take out is good. So, little things. Um, what else stuff? Focus on. Yeah. 
Josh, it's a bit low. Um, junkie notes. Um, I guess I can write. Oh, so. Blog notes. Hopefully I'll do some tomorrow. I might have a moment to myself. Um, yeah, so, um, hang on, I better reply to this message. Um, today I promoted one of my movies, Weird Part 2, I did with my mate Rocco. He's a good guy. Um, went to a meeting, rocked around. Didn't do much today. Yeah, comment. Tell your friends. Um, what else did I do? I did some filming. I'm trying to practice a new, more avant-garde filmmaking. Um, I, w I went around Manly today, filmed footage. Trying to transfer some files as well, um, which I'm missing one of the hard drives to do. Um, um, yeah, it just um, I, I've been watching um, a lot of Jonas Makers movie, um, movies, so trying to practice a new. New thing in my bum. Um, it's hard, you know. I'm so used to kind of like just going and stuff like that, just working, always focusing on work. Um, which is, I'm gonna write in my diary as well. Um, yeah, I'm, oh, that's not it. It's good that I am trying to do. Not my diary either. Oh, this is not good. Um, fuck. Oh, where is it? Shit. Oh, fuck, where is it? I think it's one of those. There it is. Clean this shit up. Do too. I need to do my notes. What am I supposed to be doing? Oh well. Uh, one of my diaries I'm trying to keep. I stop and start this stuff really badly. I'm really bad at my handwritten diaries. My journaling, if you want to call it. My turn. So you're going to watch me write this. Um, I'm supposed to be doing. So, I promise, guys, I try to change my um, try to change my writing around. Fuck, did I put my coffee cup too? Promise that I'll try to change spots where I'm writing. Well, I'm filming this, you know, a bit more often. But, I guess I did a little bit of recovery, I read the book, I had a moment to myself before I put the camera on, I wrote something online, but I went to a meeting, so, yeah, it's, um, it is what it is today, but, 
I guess talking this this talking to the camera. No, I guess it helps. Um, <coughs> oh, I'm doing um, I'm doing another A book, um, photography book. So I don't know when I'm gonna release it. Just started form formatting the draft and all that um, tonight actually. So keep an eye out on it. I'm gonna publish it through Amazon. Um, yeah. I, But check it out. I'm, I'm picking up specific photos and trying to write something about each photo that I've had. Um, again, because of that that um, Jonas Makers guy. Um, so yeah, you know, at the moment I'm still struggling to get actors and stuff, casting and stuff like that. Facebook's not the best for it, but you know. At the moment, it's my only option, so, you know, but, uh, it's fucking, today is just a, I don't know, I, I don't know what I'm talking about at the moment, you know, it's, um, time consuming. I did do a meeting tonight in AA1, actually, so, um, that's good, I liked it. I haven't shared it this one to be honest. I haven't shared it in ages. Um Okay, I'll have my cigarette. You know. It's good to share it made in twelve step made. There's a lot of constructive criticism to to meetings, and I don't blame them to be honest. Um A lot of it's understandable. So if you've got issues with 12 step meetings, I don't blame you. Um, you know, I really don't blame you. I've really got to quit smoking as well. It's um, it's god awful, you know. I'm gonna brush my teeth too. You know, aesthetics. Another disclaimer if you haven't worked it out, I'm just the world's worst vlogger, what do you want to call it? It's 11.30 hit night hit now, you know. Still going on the Lone Wolf stuff. Um, uh, YouTube, bro. To become a successful artist, it's really hard, you know. Not hard, but you know what I mean. It's time consuming. It's good that the the gatekeeper, because the internet, the gatekeeper is a bit not as doesn't have as much, you know, out there. I need a flair for my Reddit post. Reddit's really good, guys. If you Got YouTube videos and shit. Reddit's really good. Yeah, you know, um, yeah, I guess Mondays is, I, I gotta take time off and, and remember. I did take moments to, to stop and rest and stuff, um, 
my I got issues with food. Um, my food stuff wasn't as bad. My binging wasn't as bad today. Um, slightly a bit better lunch and shit. Um, um, but I got to remember that throughout my other areas of life, and like I said, I had a bunch of chores. I didn't do as much recovery stuff today as I should have. Um, my morning one's probably the worst to sit in the morning to ride over. Um, I do have a list of which I stole from a book of little notes to 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 remind myself of um, to focus on. Um, I do find it hard um, to articulate myself if you haven't noticed and stuff, but um, the last few times I've actually sat down in front of the camera and talked, um, I just was trying to talk to the camera, but right now I'm actually posting stuff on Reddit. You know? No, not stuff, just one single YouTube video that I did a while ago. Um, I published it. 13th of January to 2018. You know? I've got so many videos that I just made no effort to promote at all. But yeah, that's kind of my day. I'm really boring. Um, it's just good, you know? I've got to organize. YouTubers to stuff. A guy. Also, there's um, and hopefully I've put it in. The time of watching this, uh, an email address. Um, yeah. You know, but you know, so do send me emails. Um. It's empathetic Satan at yahoo.com. Email me. Trust me. And don't forget to sub. Tell the people. I'm gonna regret smoking this cigarette. I got one left. I only got one cigarette left. Um, no. search bar. So this is what it happens when you're a loner, introvert, and all you do is work. I don't like it though, it's quiet, spaceful. Keep your circle small, you know. Um, but do listen to feedback from friends, you know. Be accountable not only to yourself, but have your friends hold you accountable as well. You know, surround yourself with people who want you to be better than them, you know. Honestly do do like, you know, it's great. Well, aesthetics, YouTube channels. Hmm. Still good at the watch time, you know. 
I never prepare. I just dive into it without thinking, which is always the case. Fuck, did you hear about DMX and shit too? Check him out, you know. <sighs> Far out, man. I'm sure he's tired of watching me do nothing in my bedroom, you know. Aesthetics. I guess Jonas, um, Mac is whatever, Mac is, I was a video diarist as well, you know, <coughs> you know, he did do video diaries, but I got to sit in different places as well, so, which I might even do now soon. But not tonight, I got cigarettes and stuff, but maybe tomorrow. Go, 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 go. <laughs> Steve Austin. Uh, and what's his name? Yeah. Just listen to his okay, podcast with Bill Burr. Alright, uh, well, I'm going to put the camera on. I'm going to look for something. Sunglasses. Yeah. 
out here because of, of how fast the business is. This is the UFC, man. They're trying to develop new stars, first of all, build up a record to be contenders for the top ten or even get noticed, but also be in a position to make sell tickets. So a lot of these guys, you know, in that circuit for a short period of time, and then for us on to the worldwide scene, trying to pull a live on Monday Night Raw or SmackDown, and, you know, some of them aren't ready for it. Well, by the time I got the Stone Cold break, that was seven and a half years in the business. So I'd already been a heel, been a baby, back and forth. New psychology, now I had a steadfast, badass gimmick. It wasn't really a gimmick. It was me pissed off, turned up to 11. And so it was pay dues and, and riding down the road with veterans. They're saying, this is why you do that. Here's why and how you do this. It's all tricks of the trade. Yes, it's not a force, because now it's the same thing uh, in comparison to WWE, where you're saying that from that complex in Orlando, where they're teaching guys how to talk, and then they might be on uh, SmackDown or Raw, and they're forced to do it, but they're not ready. Same thing in the UFC. You see guys, because they see Tom McGregor, who have the hit guys, who have that Wayne Rock Johnson, or Stone Cold Steve Austin kind of factor, where they can do it all. People go, well, that guy, he's on every cover of the magazine. He's on all of the TV. He's paid the highest. So you see them, it's not their nature, they're not ready for it yet. When you see John the Mike, they're forcing kind of this act, and you can just tell. It's, it, it's just, like you said, you pay your dues. I think Connor, I think it's in his nature, it's in his blood to do it. And you can tell that he works on it, he thinks about it. Then when that guy cut the promo, and he thought about typing a fight, there's no one done in the business. Yeah, but see, to me, that thing, that seems to be one of the hardest things there, there would be, is to come out of a full-fledged fight whether, you know, however long it lasted, three to five rounds, or whether it was TKO, submission, whatever, then all of a sudden you ramped up, the adrenaline's got to be going through the roof, you know, 20,000 people there, all of a sudden, you know, there's Joe Rogan or whoever, you know, and you try to put some, some thoughts together. And so, you know, first and foremost, oh. the bike must be addressed. Yeah. But then behind, after that, I mean, on your downtime, on your free time, you see some people fire, you're thinking, anytime, you know, someone's... Oh, God. So old. Um, let me explain what I'm doing. Um, I've got another hard drive. I've got two hard drives. A second one of this. A while ago, I dropped it, and I'm pretty sure it went down there somewhere. But of course, like most guys, I didn't do anything about it. Uh, So I don't know what happened to the USB, uh, the hard drive, sorry. Um, it's going to be a problem. Um, nothing's important on it, it's just a bunch of movies that are collected from the, from the internet. But, um, but I need some space. I got, the second one that I want to use is for admin stuff. So I can probably still use it for the time being. Um, 
I know it's in my bedroom, so that's why I'm not stressed. It's just gonna fuck me around a bit. Um, so, um, uh, it's good. I'm gonna clean up my room too. I know it's in my room, but... Good. 
Uh, where are you calling from again? I'm not too sure. I'm not. A, yeah. Hey, you, are you calling from? Yeah, yeah. Are you calling from Australia or Energy Australia? Smartest. Sorry, man. Yeah. I've, I've, <laughs> sorry, man. I just thought you just said you're calling from Australia. That's it. Just always. <laughs> sorry, man. I need to throw me off. Yeah. I'm actually not too sure. This is a shared house and none of the bills are under my name and all that. So, that's the thing. So, yeah. Same to you. But. None of the bills are under my No, 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 no. What are you doing? Up. Have you had your dinner yet? Yeah. I'll I'll wash up. Okay. I'll wash up. Why are you still doing up the slide anyway? <laughs> oh, can I at least get a hug before you do bed? No. Well, how's your arm? How's your arm? Good. Good. I found my hard drive. What? I lost one of my hard drives. Found, just found it. Did you? Yeah. 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 So anyway, um, how much time is left? That's pretty cool how I found that cigarette. Make myself another coffee and cool.
Look at this fucking bathroom. Shit everywhere, I'm cleaning those. I'm still gonna leave that light on, hey? I know you can't see it, but there's a fucking spider right there. Oh. Oh, God, there's... Fuck was that? I know you can't see it, but there's, there's something in the bush. So dirty. Look at this. I don't know what they're doing. Look at that. Fine china. And. I don't know what. <laughs> I don't know what that's doing in the lounge room. So. I'll show you some vinyls later on my vinyl player. Anyway, I'm going to get to bed, so... You don't regret anything. That's on you.
I didn't set my alarm. No. No. That's on you. That's your. F yeah. I know it doesn't. Okay, no. Looking through some. Come on, load. Eddie Bravo. Explore the best of Australia with up to 120,000 bonus bonus points. A card starting from zero dollar annual. <sighs>
trying to sell tickets. Yeah. I was just like, oh my god, the nicest guy ever. Literally one of the nicest guys ever. Been. And just a, a physical specimen. Just all right, Bonnie, Mama. What he did in a short amount of time. Mama. In football and UFC. They don't give enough credit. Well, he was going back to the football thing when he was really playing no football in high school or something. Like that. He might play a little bit of football, but to just go to a pro football team, Minnesota Vikings, and a damn near make the team. When, when, okay, it's like the tackle too. If you got two guys that are, you know, let's call them 300 pounds. One guy has been playing football for 20 years. This other guy has maybe played two. If this, if, if, you know, and Brock's going to be almost stronger. Than All right, but name them all. It's going to be comparable. I I see you tomorrow. The guy that's been playing right, for years has the technique. He's going to win almost every single time. So Brock goes into that environment not knowing shit. You know, nope. for the most part, and they make the team. You know, if they wanted to make an investment in the team for a couple of years, had he been even a little bit younger than he was, who knows if they'd have kept him. But, I mean, just just to be able to accomplish that or to go into UFC, yeah, he bypassed a lot of guys, get those title shots, but, you know, Jesus Christ, you know, here's the way I look at you know, UFC, because, man, I can only imagine from a fighter standpoint, a lot of guys are, like, pissed off. Hey, man, what's this guy doing to get a shot right now? But on the other end, I mean, you got the guys that are, the Dana or the Tigas or whatever, like, hey, something about this kid. We think you can sell tickets. Boom, you, 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 you put a rocket on his ass, almost like giving a guy a push in WWF. A little soon, isn't it? Well, a little soon for Brock, right? Well, man, look, if your record speak for itself, his record speaks for itself. Yeah, his record speaks for itself. And he Wait, really but how does y'all feel when all of a sudden he's getting these shots? I don't mean to flip the script on no, I, I mean, you're coming from a fight standpoint. Yeah, that's a legit you question. Yeah, I, you know, to, to be honest, I was a little taken back. Like, this dude really thinks he can do this. Because you see him against you know, one of his first fights. It might have been his first fight against Heath Herring, who's a legit pro, fought in Pride, fought in UFC. I mean, a legit badass. And he steams roll through him. And you're like, jeez. So it's like, you know, as a heavy leather thing, it's going to be a lot to handle, man. I don't, I don't know if I'm ready for that. And then, uh, you know, then he fights Frank Merritt. And I remember I felt like it was... Mixed martial artist, UFC versus WWE. And I didn't want Brock to win. I never rooted against the guy so bad in my life. I love everyone. I'm a lover, man. Like, right. I, I usually cheer for Brock, but in this case, I was like, no way. He cannot beat Frank Mayer, who's paid his dues. He's a, a veteran, former heavyweight champ. So and your submission guy? Oh, you know, one of the best of, of all time. Yeah. So when he got a hold of his uh, knee, I was like, yes, yes. And then, you know, Brock just kind of takes off from there, man. It does work. For him to beat Shane Carlin. It, it, and he, that's when I, when you kind of went, all right, Brock's actually a, a real fighter because he was getting his ass what He was taking a beat down. Yeah, Shane Carlin was a referee on that. He could have, you he know. He could have stopped it. I've seen fights get stopped before. And with, as hard as Shane Carlin hits, I'm telling you, man, most guys would have either given up or been knocked out. Right. So when he came back from that, I don't even have an argument that they should have stopped it early because the guy can come from that, go out to the second round, then submit him. And knowing Shane like I do, that's insane. So after that, I'm like, all right, all right, we, I got nothing. But I got nothing. I, if I'm not mistaken, I think you know after that pounding he got, I believe he was smiling Side across. I got at him. Yes. But anyway, how, what was that that, that gimmick choke that he floated around you? What was that called? He, he did a head on choke. Yeah. So I thought, and I, I saw it coming when he started doing it. And I'm not like Rogan when he called the fight you the master at it and listen to it. But I could see something coming. I was like, God damn it. This is in his, in his wheelhouse, and all yeah. of a sudden, you know, got that. And that's what Chuck chose to do, too. What happened was when he steamrolled Heath Herring, he definitely smiled at Heath Herring and winked at him on that one, because there was some animosity there. What happened to Heath Herring, and what happened to Shane Collin? Uh Heath Herring uh, took a fight, and I think Ryzen a little bit ago, he lost. He, he's been off them and think, for six or eight years now. He kind of retired. He's doing his thing. He's from Texas. I know. Yeah, and then so he's been kind of MIA. I'm not sure if he's doing the gym or what. He just fought recently. He lost. And then uh, Shane Carwin retired after he lost to um, Junior Dos Santos on the Ultimate Fighter the finale. Uh, he, there, he was a coach on the show fight. He already put in Junior Dos Santos late notice. Rough fight for Shane. So Shane retired because he had a lot of back injuries, neck problems. You know, he was older. He, he played football, tried out for uh, the Philadelphia Eagles, then he wrestled, you know, to wrestle at Western 